this code tutorial does the following. It sets when you have an image uh, like this one and when we run that script and click on it then it will uh, wrap around this image uh, div container. So this is the div container and inside the div container now there is the image. So this method or this function is available normally as in jQuery but I've written it in uh, JavaScript since JavaScript is more common and uh, more stable in jQuery it didn't work and the code is here on my website as a code example uh, and you may try it and load it and as you see it works like this it uh, changes all those images when you click on it so this stuff uh, works on two blocks first um, with the test button what you have seen uh, I set on I'm adding on all um, on all images I get the container that's the rounding uh, element then I say uh, on all elements run through uh, in a loop through that point and add the event listener in, uh, click on all uh, images. As soon as I have done this, that's what we do in here. When I when I push the test button, then the event listener is added on there, and then when I click on it, uh, then it goes to this add sizable this diff. So the click itself uh, says comes from the this. Uh, element. So this is the image when it comes, the event, uh, the last element where I'm clicking on or which is active is the this element. So this is image and then I say uh, create a new div element, create element with div. Then we say set resizable all that stuff that's not important. And then the trick is we say on the this, on the image where I am, go to the parent node, one up, and then we are appending the div on there. And as soon as we have done this, then we append our child, which is actually uh, the next sibling. We append it to the, uh, to the div container. And then we remove the click element. So that's what all what you see on this, all features on this small routine that it's, uh, it edits the, the, uh, the listener, the event listener, takes, creates an uh, HTML element and it appends this one into a parent and it moves one element into another one. You find that code example on my website, website and, and on the link below.